Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. Welcome back to my video. So previously you have learned on how to conduct a hypothesis testing using the traditional approach and the confidence interval approach. So in this video, we're going to look at the steps in doing hypothesis testing using p-value approach. And in fact, this approach has been widely used uh, by practitioners in applied statistics. There are four steps in doing the p-value approach. The first one is similar to the one we had in traditional and confidence interval approach, which is, of course, to construct your hypothesis statement. And the second step here is to find your p-value. And there are several ways that you can do this, which we will talk later. And uh, you can proceed to uh, make your decision in step three, and finally, to make your conclusion in step four. So there are only four steps, uh, which is similar in confidence interval approach, only four steps. And this is the uh, my simple summary of the three different approaches that you can use to conduct a statistical hypothesis testing. So let's talk more about this p-value approach. There are many ways to find a p-value. Uh, recently, almost all computer statistical packages such as Microsoft Excel, SPSS, Minitab, eViews, uh, R language can provide you with the p-value in the output when you use the packages to conduct your hypothesis testing. And you can also find the p-value using the statistical table or even by using your calculator. In this course, we're going to be using the Microsoft Excel to find our p-value. And I will go into detail about it later. <laughs> uh, so let's talk about p-value. What is this p-value? p-value denotes the, the probability value that we use to compare against the specified level of significance. P-value here is the smallest level of significance that would lead to the rejection of our null hypothesis. So if your p-value is smaller or equivalent to your significance level that you use for your, for your study, then the decision, the significant division here is to reject h now. But if your p-value is greater than your significance level, then the, the decision is to do not reject h now. Right, so these are the two rules that you need in order to conduct a hypothesis testing using the p-value approach. And finally, you can make your conclusion based on your decision, um, just as how you did in the traditional and confidence interval approach. Right, so in this course, I'm going to show you, in this video, I'm going to show you on, on how to use Microsoft Excel to find the p-value for hypothesis testing for the case of one population mean, for the case of the differences between two population means for both independent and dependent cases, and also for the case of ratio of population variances. So let's go to our first example for today. Um, this is the procedure that you can use in order to conduct a hypothesis testing for one population mean. So step number one is, of course, to understand your claim and construct your hypothesis statement. And then what do you need to do in your Microsoft Excel? You need to go to your menu data, go to data analysis, and choose descriptive statistics. Okay? Um, this is how the data analysis is going to look like. And I think I'm going to let you explore this procedure on your own because I'm sure that you are very well versed with technology. Okay? So we're going to use that procedure for this example 3.11. Also, this is about a petroleum company that wants to buy an additive for the uh, distilled product. And the company estimate the cost of the additive, uh, which is 1 million for 5 tons. And then so they got this um, different prices from the consultant companies. Okay, but they do estimate that the price would be 1 million. So the question here is, do you think the petroleum company overestimates the cost of the additive? So meaning that, is it true that the 1 million estimation here is actually um, an overestimation? That the average price, uh, that the average prices offered by these consultant companies should be less than the 1 million that was estimated by the petroleum company. So then the instruction here to, is to analyze the problem by using Microsoft Excel and use the p-value approach. So first, you have to construct your hypothesis statement. So from here, we understand that the, the claim here is saying that the average prices offered by the consultant companies should be less than 1 million. Okay, so therefore, we have our um, hypothesis statement. So why don't I write that down here? Right, so mu c should be less than the 1 million estimated, right? We're saying that the average 
um, prices offered by the consultant companies should be less than the estimated value, which is 1 million. So this is 1 million. So this is our claim. Um, by looking at this expression, this claim belongs to H1. There we go. So we're done with our step number one. One million here. So this is the claim. Right? So next, we need to find the p-value using Microsoft Excel. So this is how your output is going to look like. Um, you will get this, uh, the first part here, from using the descriptive statistics in your Microsoft Excel. And then the second part down here is by using some formula that you need to type it in on your own. And this formula actually depends. If your um, case study involving a t-test, then you would use the formula in in A, but if it is if it is a Z test, then you will use the formula in B. Okay, so you have to choose uh, between these two in order to find the p-value. Right, so once you get the p-value here, 0 0.9706, then we need to make our decision. So let's recall on the two rules of doing um, decision using p-value approach. So if your p-value is smaller than the significance level, we will reject H now. And if the p-value greater, then we do not reject H now. So what is our significance level in this question? So it was not mentioned earlier in the question. So then we will use the rule of thumb. We assume it to be 0 0.05. So let's try to compare between this p-value and our significance level. So what would be your decision? Exactly, right? So we need to do not reject H now. So this is our decision based on the p-value, based on the comparison between the p-value and also our significance level. So we do not reject H now. So that is also equivalent to saying that we are accepting H now and we are rejecting H1. So therefore, there is insufficient evidence to support the claim that the petroleum company overestimate the cost of the additive. Right, so this is one example how you can use Microsoft Excel to find um, p-value for the cases of hypothesis testing for one population mean. And this is how you make the decision using p-value. Okay, so I hope that you all understand that clearly. So let's proceed to the next example.